Ok, we are ready to finish our project. I have created the fourth setup, which is absolutely the same as the third setup, but from the other side of the part. So I think you will create all these operations um, by yourself easily. And I have already created the fifth setup and the, these grooves machining here. So this is pretty the same uh, that these grooves which we have already covered er earlier. So I will not show it also due to time saving. So now we are ready for the simulation of the whole uh, project. I go to simulation page. Okay, here is my machine. I will select the machine. It is the beginning of our project and press reset workpiece and press run. So we can uh, see all the comments uh, in the CL data, data here in every operations. We can see all the machine movements, the tool movements, okay, and the workpiece smooth transitioning from the beginning to the end of the project. Using this uh, scale, I'm adjusting just uh, the playback speed of the simulation and the, it does not affect uh, the toolpath and, of course, the feeds and speeds themselves. It's just a movement speed adjustment for the playback of the simulation. Okay, here's the second setup, the third setup. The fourth setup. And the fifth. Okay, so we can check with verify compare function. If we see some blue areas here, We don't see them, so we can say that our machining is done. Everything is machined. We have no rest material. Everything is perfect. So and now we are ready for uh, post-processing. So uh, on the machining page, I press post-processor button. I will use Fanuc post-processor, which is generic one, which is delivered along with trial license of Sprutcam. So I press run. And here I get the toolpath. I can open it in Notepad if I want and uh, transfer it to the machine. So, and the last thing is G-code verification. So in Sprutcam we also have G-code based simulation. So I will show you show you how to use it. Uh, we need to after the post processing we need to go to the simulation, <clears throat> and here let's select the machine. Okay, go to the beginning of the project and here we have the button G-code based simulation. I need to press to this button. Now Sprutcam is preparing. Okay, everything is calculated and now we can press run and see not internal. Sorry, let's let's make it from the beginning. Reset the workpiece. Okay, okay, good. And press run. Now we can see not internal seal data, but the G-code itself, which is verified in Sprutcam also. So I will play back it to the end. Okay, one more important thing. If Sprutcam simulation is stopping every time it has, uh, for example, part gorge here in 2D contouring operation. You need to turn off this button, stop on error. So make it, of course, on your own risk. And uh, it is very useful to turn it on in the beginning. And then when you know where the part gorges are, for example, for chamfers, only then you can turn it off. Okay, let's make it a little bit faster. So some adaptive clearing is happening. Okay. Okay. As we can see now, the workpiece state is absolutely the same as we had after the simulation based on internal Sprutcam language. So this means that our G code is verified and ready for the real machine.